Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Mike check, can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Let me know if you guys can hear me, please. Mike check, Mike check, Mike check. Hello, one, two, three. Does everybody hear me? Huh? <clears throat> How do I see the YouTube? Are you going to be looking at the comments here? This is my number. Oh, I see you. Yeah? You got it? Yeah. Mic check? All right, <clears throat> perfect. Ask about the audio levels, everything. Audio levels are good. How do I see the comments? So, Nati's going to see them? Huh? Just let him know where they're oh, yeah. saying. So once you finish with all this, call your time and give him some expectations, please. Okay. Because out of seven is a lot of time. What happened was, is Wait, that we, the watch stayed here? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, make sure you call him. Okay. Puede Mic check. Everybody hear me? Audio's fine. What did I say, Nati? I hear you fine. He's perfect. Bro, who are you? <laughs> I came back from a cruise. I had some leftover gel, guys. That's what happened. That's what happened. So I came back actually yesterday from my cruise and uh, created some content wearing this Daytona Panda. And a lot of you guys have a question of why am I wearing the prize competition watch? I'll get to that shortly. First, <clears throat> we're going to go around the inventory, show you guys what we got. Um, we got a couple of new pieces in. And let's check this out. What else they get huh? I'm going to give him probably give him some deals. We're going to have Carlos come out and give him some pricing deals because, you know, uh, he's the one who gives the final sale on the prices. And I'm going to show him around, show him what we got. Look, actually, let's start with this. Then rotate out the other way. Yeah, rotate this way. You know, you just, that's rotate, rotate. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So can I have a key? Somebody? Here. Thank you. Can you guys mute? Can you guys mute that? So look, I want to start here with the prize competition winner of the last one. So well, yeah, Nati, why don't you sit on that side? You can't set it up the YouTube live for her there, so she can see it like you did last time. Leave the camera there for me. What do I set up for her? So she can see the YouTube comment, lives, the super chats, all that. Okay. Let me see. Go there and print. Let me show I got you. You got me? Right, stay exactly there. Wait, as he talks about it. I'm going to stay exactly here, guys, for you. Yeah, don't move. Hold up. <clears throat> right, there you go. You're in frame there. Don't be going around. Okay, perfect. So first, I want to talk about the last prize competition winner. Um, you guys know, last time we did a Protect 5968G white gold Aquanaut Chrono. As you see here, let me take it out. <clears throat> we still have it on display just so people can see the watch that the previous winner won. He comes... Wednesday. Now, last time we did a very turnout sleep competition, and the guy was in Canada, and he's a huge Messi fan. So we decided for what is it, the U.S. Uh, Open Cup? U.S. Open Cup, Cup final. U.S. Open Cup final um, is on Wednesday, next Wednesday, which happens to be the same day that Rick D, the person who won this Protect Philippe. Is coming in. So Dan decided he was going to surprise him with some tickets to the game. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So grab the bottom. Huh? Grab the bottom right here. Wait, and tilt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of raw, guys. So my apologies. <laughs> Remember, we're not the best at these. Like, yeah, guys. Get over there. Get over there. I know how to change it. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Straighten you out here. I think you have a straight there. All right, go ahead. All right, perfect. So next Wednesday, Rick D, the winner of this Patek, is going to come. Um, we surprised him with some messy tickets so he can go to the Inter-Miami messy game for the U.S. Open Cup Finals. Um, besides that, besides normally what we said we're going to give him, the flight to Miami, he's bringing his partner with him. Uh, we're taking him out on the Missy Arm Yacht. So I just want to ask you guys, do you guys have any recommendations or what do you guys want to do, whoever's going to win the prize competition for the Panda Daytona? Recommendations for what? 
for what, what else do they want to do? Besides taking them on the boat, I want to do something extra for them. So depending on where the person's from, do, I don't know, like how we're taking Rick D to the Messi game. Let's see what, what else, what else would you want to do? I would say like, if I was a stranger and, and I came into this, I, I would want to go play dominoes with the fam, go to a cookout, barbecue That's things. What like That's what I would like to do. Just spend the day there. Like, yes, go to the restaurant, but I would like to spend the day playing and getting a true Miami family, Cuban family experience is what I would do. What would you do, Nati? Turn on your mic on. Turn your mic on. We really want to be a part of You are a part of this. What's wrong with you? I honestly think the yacht is perfect. I love being on the water, so the yacht to me would be perfect. I'll tell you, take me twice. Take me twice a day. days back to back. <laughs> how, how do you like sea spice? I like sea spice. You think we should give them a different experience, or sea spice is probably the best thing that they're going to eat? Um, on the boat, I'm not really sure. I haven't gone too many places on the boat. I've only really been with you guys. Oh, they're gonna, you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love it. So uh, besides that, protect, let's keep going around the store. Obviously, we have that 5968G. We have this 5712. We got a 5726. Um, 5905P, if I'm yes. not mistaken. Yes. And an Alange Soon with a factory diamond bezel. Oh, that's that, a weird pronunciation. Alange Soon. Zune. Zune. Soon. I don't know how to say it. No. I know they always say Soon. Alange and Zona. However. Uh, so come around this way. American. Come around this way so you don't get the cable tied up. Uh, What's up? What? what? Yeah. If you guys want to know pricing on anything, or if you guys have any questions uh, on any of the pieces that you see, or if you guys have a question for me, period. Comment there, and Nati will reply. If you guys drop a super chat, I'll give you guys a shout out. You guys ask me whatever you want, personal, business related, whatever it is. Go ahead and drop super chats. Show some love, guys. What's going on that table? What's up? Charlie? What's up? What's going on that table? Uh, I guess Carlos is eating some Cuban food with a Cuban you link. You Can you share your food, Carlos? Will you eat? As you know, I'm always eating in my desk in my office for the plant because I never get out of my office. To have lunch, I don't get the privilege. I rather stay here working, greeting customers, You're good. and selling watches. Good. You have another mic. I know, but they can pick off you. It's the next one. From seven to seven. That's the best. Hey, what's so funny? You want to be in the video? No. Show me, show me your, uh, your food. Let me just. I'm eating carne con papa. And you're like dropping here. Potato, with meat, there. sweet plantains. Super fanny. Super fanny stuff right here. It's good though. Yeah. Really good food. Really good tasting. Cuban food. The best Cuban food, guys, honestly, is the Cuban food that you eat in the house. Like, if a Cuban old lady made it for you, it's probably going to be the one of the best plates ever. You can't go to a fancy restaurant for Cuban food. I see Betty eating something too. What Betty? Betty, what are you eating? What are you eating, Betty? Skittles? Oh, let me get one. Real Skittles. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. real Skittles. Okay, let's get back to the inventory, guys. Not do you have any questions? Is what's available on your website all you currently have in stock? No. That's a challenge still. So, yes, that's a good question, guys. The website is a current ongoing challenge. Remember, we're a small family business. And we're, guys, please, in the corner, we're on live. Thanks. So we are running a small family business. So we do have interrupts with lives, um, family discussing personal problems in the background. Uh, the e-commerce is very difficult because since watches sell fast and it's not the same exact product every single time when you are selling pre-owned inventory, for example, you could have a 2021 to 2020, one could be fully linked, one could be short links, one could have been previously polished. It's not like selling shirts where it's the same exact shirt, small, medium, and large, and you can always have that constantly in stock at all times and show it available at the website. So since we're constantly selling and we're short manpower, it's a little bit more difficult to constantly be updating in the inventory. And that's why the e-commerce website isn't the most accurate place at the current moment for our watches. But definitely, guys, go check it out for the diamonds. Oh. Oh, yeah, guys, keep it respectful. If you say nasty comments, stupid comments, you will be blocked. So if you enjoy the comment, if you enjoy the content, 
if you guys enjoy the content, keep it professional. Now, another thing, we have a prize competition going on right now, like I said, for a Panda Daytona, and we only have 32 days, one hour, 35 minutes, and 45 seconds left. Tickets are two pounds. Now, just like in traditional prize competition fashion, you guys are gonna see the link in the description, right? So you guys are gonna see the link in the description of this video. You guys can click it. But, besides that, I lost my train of thought now. Go back to your inventory. Go back to my inventory. Wait, wait, I was gonna tell them something. Oh, that if we hit our goal before, then this 32 days might end sooner. So make sure guys, that you stay paying attention to this because it is a possibility that we might end this price competition sooner like we did in the past with the Patek Philippe. So let's go back to the inventory. Other way, you gotta spin the other way. You're gonna, you're gonna tangle the cable if you don't spin. <clears throat> I don't think we ended fast on the Patek Philippe. Huh? We ended it short. We did, we did, we did. Correct. So here in our current inventory, we have a yellow gold, white gold, and rose gold GMT models. Yeah. We got the two root beers. We got two rose gold GMTs. We got a white gold GMT Pepsi here, Blue Dial. Honestly, a lot of people, more people are fans of the rose gold. My favorite out of all of them, though, is definitely this yellow gold and green and this Blue Dial. I like them. They're just sleeper pieces. The yellow gold is definitely loud and out there, but it's just something about that Rolex screen that I love. Let's go continue. To what? To this, the wireless one. Yeah, get some deals. Yeah, we'll we'll have Carlos we'll have Carlos come back now and blast some prices now. So look, we got some ladies APs here. We got Royal Oak Chrono. We got non Chrono forty one two tone. I love that salmon doll. That one we could do what twenty four grand? Nothing on it. We do twenty four thousand on this ladies piece here. So if you guys want to get your wifey an early Christmas gift, mm -hmm. what else? Uh, the two tone white dial. I like the two tone AP forty ones. That's one of the very few watches I like in two tone, just because they're very hard to find. Like they're very. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. I'll just talk here. Then we got a couple of offshores here. Um, we have the stainless. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the blue dial is platinum. We got another stainless right here. And then we got a safari and a diver there. What else? Oh, look at this. Check this out. This is very cool. So I actually picked up this watch the other day. I purchased that watch the other day from a client. Have a gold sub. Actually, I have two gold subs in there. And I guess while I was on vacation, they purchased a gold forty. What's the price on that gold forty? I have no idea. I just came in. Oh, that's right. You came into. No, no, the older one. Oh, the older one. I tell you. Give me a price on both. Can you look them up? Yes. Sir. You guys are gonna see the prices now. I'll give you guys prices on both gold subs there. The non ceramic one. Yeah. Okay. It's two thousand and five. Okay. <laughs> Say it again. So it's 2005, uh -huh. 24, box and papers. 2005, which? 2005, how much? 24,000, box and papers. So we got this for 24 grand. I tell people, like, I think that that's a watch that I call a very nice opportunity watch, meaning it's a good opportunity to get a gold watch at an affordable price. Why? Because modern pieces are in the high 30s, low 40s. You can get something there, 2005. Still looks very good. If you could see here, Dan, put the camera right here. Real quick, if you can point there. So for the 2005 versus this can be, because I'm don't, i not sure, I haven't checked the inventory or anything, to let's say 2015. For a 10-year difference, the watches look very similar. And the price here is 24000 Mr. CRM is outside. Can you give me the price on the 40 ceramic? Yellow gold that just came in? Just came in? Let me see it. Let me see it real quick. Okay. And so, 
So about 10 years and $10,000 price difference between the two. Got 24 and 34 on these two here. Okay. Check that out. So would you guys say the 10 grand? I would. I actually like the look of the older one better. Even though that the modern Mariner is a lot more comfortable. Let's continue. Any comments, Nadi? Nothing. We want to see Nati. Is that what they said? I don't know, but you know they always say there's always some perv. All right, let's go over here, guys. So on this side, we have. You good? Yeah, start up here. Huh? So you can start up here. So on this side, we have our date just here. You see, we have some two tone rolls, some stainless with fluted bezels. Down here, we have two tone two bleeds, two bezel. Oh, okay. You can just do B roll on them. Okay. Would you back up a little bit? B roll. This is live. Oh. All right. So on these pieces here, on this pieces, this is, I would say, they just are very nice watches. If you are a person who likes to dress up, you are a well-dressed person wearing button-down shirts, maybe polos, you work at a bank, a law office, things like that, I think the date just is a very nice watch for you. Um, doctors, things like that. Now, if you're a person who's a little bit more active, you guys know I always recommend sports models just because of that safety glass. And they take a bit of a beating, and I feel like they're more versatile. You can wear them sporty, you can wear them dressy, you can wear them however. Versus these date just, I feel like it's only a dressy watch. Yes, you can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt, and it still looks good. But it's not the same. I really wouldn't wear a date just in the boat. So, oh, look, check this one out. Let me get the key real quick. Where do you want to go? I'm going to take it out in front of you right there. I'm just like, we can party at my home. In, in Let's go. Check this out, guys. Here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the green good on camera, too? If you give me time, I can see it. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, do you see the nice green? Yeah, you can see it. So, I am not the biggest fan of midsize. I know a lot of ladies wear 40 and 36s. But this this watch right here, I've seen a couple ladies try it on. And I think it's, it's phenomenal. I love this light mint green color. The fluted bezel. And my favorite part is, is that Jubilees on 31 still come with a hidden clasp. Look at that. There you go. All right, move on. I don't know how much cable we have left. Way to go. Here, I got you. Stay there. Okay, please, please don't touch the chair. No, I'm gonna put it on over the chair so it doesn't yank it out. Not to make sure that little box isn't moving. That's it. Definitely. <laughs> Next time we're definitely going wireless. Okay, so let's continue, guys. This is probably my favorite section in the whole store. I got you, but they can see me. This is probably my favorite section in the whole store just because it is where the stainless steel sports models are, and those are my favorite type of watches. Wait, so, yeah. So, at the top, I actually have an Explorer, Explorer 2. On okay. Un Unwind one here. Yeah. There you go. So, up here, I actually have an Explorer 2, and I really like the Explorer 2 because. It's a very nice man, men's watch that it has a larger face. It's actually a 42 millimeters, but you can get them for a lot nicer of a price. Than, you can get them for a lot better of a price than you can with maybe GMTs and Submariners. Um, I don't know why. The Explorers and Milgausses is like what I consider like ugly ducklings. Either you love them or you hate them. Some people just don't like that big orange hand on Explorer. And I don't know if it's the orange hand that people don't like it on the Milgauss 
What is it? Is it lightning bolt hand? Is it that it doesn't have a date feature? But on both the Milgauss and the Explorer, that's a watch that I see that you're either a diehard fan or you're like disgusted by it. So I think I think it's a killer watch, especially for the price. Now let's continue here. We got what is this? Nice. We got I guess so. Well, we got an unworn Batman. Yes. Yes. So we got an unworn Batman here. I guess the Batgirl sold. Yes, yeah. the Batgirl sold. Yeah. So the Batgirl sold while I was on vacation, but we do got a Batman. We got a Pepsi in the back. We got a yellow gold GMT two-tone. We got bluesy Submariner and a black two-tone Submariner there. Honestly, I know a lot of people, like this is like one of the most popular watches in Miami, the two-tone blue Submariner, the bluesy. I'm not the oh, biggest fan of those two-tone watches, like I said earlier. Um, but it's still a beautiful watch. Like that's what Sandy wears daily. My favorite piece, honestly, is what we have down here in the next row. So from a far glance, it looks like we have all the same watch here. One, two, three, four on the last row too. But in reality, we have a 41 millimeter Mariners both here with date function. Now, personally, to me, it can have a date, it can not have a date. I don't really care. Stainless sub. It could be from the 70s, from the 80s, and 90s, the 2000s, 2010, 2020s, whatever. Stainless steel Submariner, I want it. Give it to me. Love it. I do prefer the older ones. Looks-wise, but comfort-wise, I do prefer 40. To me, the 40 millimeter Submariner is the most comfortable watch because that heavy bracelet and that glide lock, you know, you can have fun with it, use it, abuse it. Just have it like if it's a part of your arm. That's it. Mic check. Mic check. Huh? Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. So yeah. My favorite is definitely the 40. Now, yesterday, uh Jenny called me and she had a client who was interested in a 43 millimeter sea dweller and he wanted to get my opinion on it. The SD43 is a watch that I like it if you have a larger wrist. I can get away with it, but me personally, I'm going to smaller watches. Um, I'm starting to like 36 millimeter Prezi's more than the 40s. I know it's crazy. I know it's absurd. I know it's not Miami-like. But when you see the same watches all the time, you, I don't know, you get bored of certain things and you go to different things. So since I didn't grow up on that 36 millimeter phase because it was it was what was in use when I was a child, I, I wasn't able to wear these watches. Um, I, th I thought they looked good. And then... I would put them on my wrist now, and I would try on a 36, and like, man, that watch looks way too small on my wrist. But then I looked at pictures, and world leaders have worn the watch. Presidents have worn the watch. Biggie, who was a big heavy, notorious big B.I.G., a, a fat boy, he wore the watch. And I was like, bro, if all these people could wear it, I could wear a 36 millimeter. doesn't matter what people are saying in today's day. So now we wear 36s. Let's continue now with the Daytona section here. So this is a very important section. Why? Because we are currently doing a price competition on a Daytona, which if you guys click the link in the description, you can purchase your tickets. And if you go to the top, there's a yellow bar that says view discounts. That can show them from far here. Can you just turn the camera? Sure. Yeah. You can zoom in. So right up there, there's a big yellow bar on the, across the top of the screen that says discounts. If you guys go ahead... And click that bar at the top of the screen. You guys can pretty much do buy one, get one. So if you buy 100 tickets, you get 100 tickets free. And that's the deal that all my friends have been doing, dealers that I know. And yes, while me and my family can't play, all my friends have played. All the dealers I know can play. Um, and I think it will be pretty funny if a watch dealer wins. But I really hope that it's a lucky individual. So let's... Huh? What's my link? I mean, what's it's my in link? The description. My link is in the description. Are they live? Yeah. Yes. So so I just put it in the comments and pin it. Huh? So you should pin it in the comments. Oh, uh, just go to the description. So yeah, go to the description on YouTube, guys, so you can see it. Nati's going to go ahead and pin it for me there. Oh, Nati's going to do it. You're going to do it? Because Nati might just connect the live. She already did it. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. If we go dark, it's not his fault. Oh, shit. If That was about to be yours. So, back to price competition, back to Daytona Panda. And yes, I am wearing the price competition watch. Maybe, maybe not. 
I'll tell you guys in a little bit. So let's continue. So here we have a Zenith Daytona two-tone. We have a yellow gold of the latest model. It's still the same reference, 116508. This is not a 126 yet, but it is, what is it, a 2023? We got a rose gold right there. We got a white gold meteorite and a rose gold meteorite. Now, if you notice, the white gold has Roman numerals with your spell dials. You can't see that? Let's take it out. Let's go. Let's let's take it out. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. Back up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go over there. Focus on that tree. Abre ahí, tío. Hello, how are you? Good, good. So look. <clears throat> huh? Yeah, I'm on live actually. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's the one who called the no watch right now. Can you call Carlos out? Okay, so look, take a look here. Get closer on this here. Take a close up. So I have a white gold. Meteor right here, and if you guys take a look, can you see it there on the camera, Dan? Yes. If you take a look here, you're gonna notice that the sub dials are also meteorite with Roman yeah, numerals. Close That's so close, but right there, right there, right there. Okay. You can see it there. Yes. So you can see it's white gold meteorite Roman with meteorite sub dials. Now this is the previous discontinued version. The current models now feature black sub dials, which people went crazy over. And honestly, I think I like the Roman, but the Roman dial a little bit better. Good. Okay. Nice. Proceed. Good to go. Let's continue. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so here we got a couple of different Yacht Master 40s. The Yacht Master 40 is another amazing watch because you can get a lot of the watch for the money. You can get yellow gold Yacht Masters in the low twenty, the low twenty thousand dollar range for a yellow gold version of this. And honestly, I think it's a very, very nice watch, and it's one of the only yellow gold Rolexes that you can get a newer model watch for the price. So let's go. Dan? Yes. Point in here. We got a uh, two tone Tahitian right now. Okay. We got the original. This watch is another watch you see extremely common. Bluesies and these platinum yacht masters you see very, very, very common here in, around Miami. Very nice watches. Okay. All right. And then now we got a matte black and a chocolate. Of the two tone, I know everybody goes crazy about chocolate. I like the matte black better. What do you like better? Let me see. Mm. I like the chocolate. You like the chocolate better? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Right. Yeah, you guys. Did you guys call Carlos already? Yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay. Okay. Rose gold, yeah, master oyster flex ceramic bezel over here. Move a little more to the camera because the glare. There you go. From that, don't get so close to this. To the there you go. Cool. All right. There we go. Um, Betty. Yes. Can you bring me the the box from the safe? What box? <laughs> what box? <laughs> All right. You know what I'm talking about, right? How do you? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, just bring it out here. All right. So here, oh, look at this watch. So this is a watch that I actually learned about the other day, and we took it on consignment. And I think it's a very nice watch for the money. Okay. What, me? Oh. 
So this, you see this Omega Speedmaster here? Lean a little bit towards the camera. Mm -hmm. You see it good there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you something. There. This is what you call Hesalite. Listen. Plastic. It's a form of plastic. This is the exact type of plastic that went to the moon when Omega went to the moon. So it's not a sapphire that went over there. Pretty cool, huh? Was plastic? Yeah, it's called Hesalite. It's a it's a type of plastic. Thank you. See, flight qualified by NASA in 1965 for all manned space missions. The first watch worn on the moon. Can we read that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's show that. Way to get that. Let's see if I can focus on that. This another watch has been going on me. More towards the screen. There you go. Hold up. Hold it there. Hold it there. Give it there. Give it there. There you go. Awesome. Is that how much is it? How much is this? Give me a price. Give him a price. Let him make a sale live. Wait. <clears throat> That's gonna try to sell the Omega live. Natty, go do it. You got thirty seconds. This watch is box and papers. Uh huh. What is it? I think you can go a little bit better. You think so? Yeah. Okay, Natty. You try to sell it at six. Let us sell it. Let me see. <clears throat> Let me see how much better. Yeah, you got to go back. Let Natty try to sell it. Are you gonna sell it or not? Well, he, he can give pricing that I can't. So. Huh? There you go, you better. No. You can't. We could do a special price of five thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. <laughs> yeah, but no, you could you could do a little bit better. You could do a little bit better. So if you guys contact, if you guys, while this live is going on right now, if you guys contact Nati or this Omega, we have an asking price of six. But I will give Nati a special offer. So if you guys text her during this live right now or send her a message on CRM Natalie Instagram right now, I'll give you guys a live only deal. We're going to give a nice discount on that. All right. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> yeah, we're actually just watching the time right before I, I left. Uh, that's the light. So let's continue here. Uh, finish, finish there. What's there? Oh, this is the watch that Nati got. Um, was gift an Arnold and Son. Yeah. What? So. Yes, yeah, Nati's watch right there. And then we got this bus down here built right there. So does that watch come with Nati's autograph? <clears throat> yeah. So actually, if you guys purchase this Arnold and Son, Nati will sign your foreheads. <laughs> Nati will sign your forehead with a sharpie. Yeah. Oh man, Dan, 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 you're gonna step on the cable. Dan, you're gonna step on the cable. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You gotta get the mic. Grab the mic here. Switch mics, Dan. Hey, what's your name? Como tu te llamas? Mira la cámara. ¿Cómo tú te llamas? Alita Marceline. Okay. ¿Quién es ese? ¿Quién es ese? What's my name? ¿Cómo yo me llamo? ¿Ah? Hermano. 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 ¿Y quién es ese que está atrás de la cámara? ¿Y quién es ese? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Quién? Padrino. Hey, I like your chain. It's not heavy. Es un Cuban Link. Are you, are you wearing a Cuban link? Yes. A ver, modela ahí. Modela para la cámara, para. Mira para la cámara, mira para la cámara, modela. Walk this way, walk this way, come. Ven. Mira para allá, modela, ven. Woo! Yeah! Did your neck weigh? Not that much. Pesa mucho. Pesa mucho. It's heavy. It's heavy, heavy. <laughs> yeah, you want to watch? Fist bump. 
No. So, please vote. Hey, what happened with Natalie's and uh, special edition Arnold and Son Natalie edition? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, if you guys purchase that Arnold and Son, I promise you, I guarantee you. Can you put me on the camera, sir? There you go. That Natalie herself will, with a maximum size Sharpie, sign your forehead. So, if you are a huge Natalie fan, make sure you purchase that Arnold and Son. If you are interested in that watch, she will give you her personal cell phone number so you can text her about the watch. Okay, so come here, guys. Come here. I got one to show you. I want to show you. Oh. That's right. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> So when do we get all these Frank Mueller's in? <laughs> I go on vacation. Do we get all these Frank Mueller's? Oh wait, that's a Cartier. Sorry. Yes, <laughs> Did you guys talk about the consignment for the next video? Are you recording? I got it, I got it. Charlie got it. Oh, we are not live. So what was the question, sir? Yesterday we got a bunch of consignment watches. Okay. That's all you guys had on the table. Okay. Right? So normally we do a sit down where we go one by one and then we show that on the CRM live video. Right. Did you guys do that? So what do you think? Did it happen or didn't happen? Did it go out guess? Um, I would guess just because he's I speaking think, like that. I think it happened. probably started and then you guys got. You, know, you guys are a lot of people. Don't call me for Charlie. No, no, no. I don't know about how you for Charlie. I went watch by watch. Mr. 727. With the reference number. And prizes and all that stuff. So yes, they oh. did talk about the consignment oh. piece. Okay, you guys want to put a watch in consignment? There's different prices. You know, when we when we purchase a watch, it's got to be for less than what's going on the dealer chest. Just because the market keep going down and the prices keep going down, so I don't want to keep attaching money to inventory at a regular price. So I gotta get a deal. If you need the money right away, you gotta give me a deal. There's a lot of people walking in every day selling watches dated yesterday. The flippers are losing the flips. <laughs> so, so on consignment, we could pay you a little bit more, but it's gotta be at a, a fair price. We, we, you know, we get the merchandise back and we do trades. So. That's it. We said, oh, we got some Hublots. We got some, so we got some consignment pieces. Yeah. Let's go. I know it was tangled there. I don't want her to step on it. Let's come this way. We are Pokey. Come here. Come here, please. Right, here we go. Come, come, come here, come here, come here. Stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. Turn the camera facing that way. This way. This way. Let go. Look at the thing. Ooh, look at that. There we go. Perfect. Can you let me up there? I got something to talk to them about. <clears throat> Make sure you look at the ambient mic. Okay, perfect. I need a second. I need them to be quiet so I can talk to them about this. Mr. Mr. Please, I'm on the live. Can you go to the office or something? Okay. All right, ready, guys. So, a common question: um, I went on a cruise, and on this cruise, I wore the prize competition Panda Daytona. Now, people are asking me, how am I saying it? That I'm going to give an unworn 2023 Rolex Panda. How am I saying it's unworn if I'm wearing it and I'm scratching it? Well, first, let me start by, I'm very careful with the watches, and I don't scratch watches. And I actually wore this watch the whole time of the cruise, and it's an unworn, it was an unworn watch, and I didn't put any scratches on it. Yet, Mr. CRM over there put the watch on for a span of six hours, and I, if I show you this clasp right now, look at this, brutal. You scratch your price competition watch. Look at this. You see this? Those scuffs here on the edges. Shaking my head. So, <clears throat> I'm just kidding, guys. We decided 
to purchase two of them. One to create content with, and one to give to you guys. And to prove to you, look, here, it's not Photoshop. There is two of them. The one that I'm wearing was an unworn one. However, it was dated in the beginning of 2023. And I wanted to make it extra special. So I told Dan, I said, Dan, you know what? I want to wear the watch on the cruise. I want to make content on the cruise so I can show the people how nice this watch looks on my wrist, on Carlos's wrist, on everybody's wrist. But I can't promise them an unworn watch and then be wear the watch. And then especially when I say new, I want it to be real, real, real new. So look at that date on that card. Look at the date on that card for this panda. Focus. Focus. Okay, there you go. There you go. You guys see it there? Yeah. September 2023. This watch is less than 10 days old, guys. 10 days old. So by the time the prize competition ends, whoever wins this panda is going to have one of the last of these 116. 500 Panda Daytonas because as you know the 126 500 Daytona Panda was announced this year so they're already going to start rolling them out so you guys are going to have the opportunity to really have one of the last 116 500 Rolex Daytona Pandas that are going to be made available on the market check that out so I'm going to continue to wear this Daytona Panda and create content with this one or we'll continue to scratch this one while you guys whoever you are i know you guys are watching the lucky winner this one will be here in the safe for you guys let's close it let's seal this box and the only way to win is you gotta play if you don't play you're never gonna win so click the link in the description or click the comments how many people play the lotto every weekend so why are they in pounds and not dollars? Because our hosting platform is in the UK. That's it. Well, that doesn't really affect them when they click. They don't have it converts to have, it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really affect it. Like when you purchase your tickets, it automatically converts it. So you guys don't have to worry about it. it comes out to like two dollars and like 30, 40 cents, something like that. So that's why. But very soon it will be in dollars. We will change that eventually. Eric, Eric, if you could please message one of us, message me, Sandy, or Carlos, and we'll get back to you on that. Oh, so do you have? Oh, do you have his number? I'm not sure the price. So, and Eric Raban gets special pricing. So, give give Eric some some love. Who else? <clears throat> Do you have a phone number? How about deals? Mr. CRM. Mr. CRM. Mr. CRM, we need you to give some deals of pricing. Deals of pricing. We have two kilo chain for the price of one kilo. What? Here. Let me see that. No. <clears throat> yes. Here, we're still alive. Sorry. Here, no. Talk to you in a little. My, my mic is done. Now you're recording cards. There you go. So, what deal you got? I got an amazing deal. Rolex Sumaner for ten thousand dollars ceramic. Just kidding. No, I told him thirty-four. Thirty-four. Thirty-four thousand for a forty millimeter. That's a good price. And twenty-four thousand. The watch. Now they were saying something about which watch. Now they were saying something about your masters. Hey, you said you want to do some your master deals. Okay, we'll do some your master deals. Can we go over the prices? What up, my brother? You need anything? No. Just learning from the best. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Can you give me a deal on the Samaritan Hulk of the price sheet? We don't have any. Buyer. Uh, Ryan, the Hulk, we did a serious deal on it, and it's so nice. All right, so. All right my brother. So this is our Audemars section. I don't know who put it here so ugly, but someone did. 
Why not? I got a deal for you guys. I might get beheaded from Carlos. You might have to turn on the ambient. I will turn on the ambient. Okay. 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 I know. You guys, I might get my tits chopped off right now. They said if we have any sky daughters in the star, I don't think we have any. Like, what are you doing? Is the but we could get it on a phone call. We don't, we don't so just, just say live and live only. <clears throat> are the luck in the viewer's favor? You want to dance this watch? Can I get a coin? What's the cost from the date just 36 as a behavior? Carlos, you're mic'd up. You still mic'd up? No. Also, best price on Pepsi Jubilee. Ready? Pepsi Jubilee, best price, 9.5. I blew it up. Hey, next to your dad, you're going to do the mic, or you're going to do the mic. I got okay, you here. I'll be mic'd up here. Right. Just get the other mic. What do you want me to use the ambient mic for? Okay, is that on? Guys, forget buying a watch. Buy a ticket. Two pounds. Two pounds, you can win a watch. You save all that money. I'm gonna do a coin flip against myself and the viewers. You ready? I have this watch right here. And I got a price on this. You see this watch right here? So on our current inventory, our minimum asking price for this piece. Wait, we don't want to interrupt this. You want to buy the new 188 millimeter AP Royal Oak? Right here. Authentic, okay? Authentic. Authentic. Okay, no copy, man. Look, it has a movement in the back. Royal Oak. You can have it. <laughs> I bought this for myself and Charlie gave it to himself. That thing was sitting in the back collecting dust and I picked it up. Yeah. All right, ready? Back to the deal. So our minimum asking price on the inventory for this yacht master stainless steel rhodium right now is ten thousand five hundred dollars, right? Ten thousand five hundred. Yes. Okay. But now my deal that I'm going to give you guys is nine thousand five hundred. If this coin lands on tails, but if it lands on heads, we're going to. Eight thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars, just under nine grand for this piece. If it lands on heads, we're gonna do this piece for under nine grand. If it lands on no, heads, five thousand dollars. Don't ask. We're not gonna tell Sandy what piece this is because you're gonna tell me that it's not fair and I can't give you guys a deal. So stand right there, Mister Marston. Stand right there. You guys ready? So what does it look better than me? The ro the Rolex. We're doing a coin flip. Catch it, Catch it in the air. Catch it in the air. Catch it in the air. Ready? Huh. Okay, yeah, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 35 or 37. off. You don't want to get burned at the Rolex. How you doing, boy? Thank you. He, he, he doesn't want to talk in front of you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to do that coin flip again because they're going to say it was BS. So, can we do that coin flip on camera again? Ready? What is the deal? Like, yeah, my so if I land on heads, I would let this watch go for under nine grand. If I land on tails, then the lowest I can go is 9,500. You can have these amazing low 178 millimeters for. I thought it was 188. The oh, watch wow. trunk. Ready? One. This is a 40 millimeter Yacht Master stainless steel engraved bezel G serial system 2010. One of the last years of this watch. You ready? The coin flip. Are you ready, Dan? Are you ready, Dan? It's going to be on Carlos's hand. Carlos is going to catch it and put it right here. He's going to put it on top of this Rolex box. Focus on this Rolex box. You ready? Carlos is going to catch it and then he's going to flip it and onto the box. That's fine, exactly. That's why I'm going to give him a look. One, two, three. What did they get? But nobody called anything. I already told you what the deal was. I know, but did you say heads and tails? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, okay. I said the heads, they get the watch for 109 grand. Let me get it, girl. Let me get it. Hey. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, for the confusion. But if you guys want this watch today for $8,999. But it is heads. Yes. Okay. Well, you want an amazing how long it's for 5000 <laughs> How about, about Navi? 
Sound sounds weird. So if you guys want this watch for eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars today and today only, give me a call. Ask for Charlie. Say hey, Charlie. I saw you on the I'm ready to send that watch out for. Okay, the sound, guys, get the sound issue. What sound issue? Nadi said the sound sounds fine. I know, but he said, guys, everybody okay with sound? Give feedback. You know, you're not, the camera must not supposed to interrupt the actors in the live. Because the actors are the Does this sound good in your ear? I can hear it. It's just not like perfect. It's fine. What's the people are saying? So, what's up? <laughs> Okay. I don't know what the deal is, but whatever. Let me check my check. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we're good to go then? Yeah, good. So, guys, look at the first competition. Go buy tickets. Go buy tickets so you guys can win a panda. I'm going to hand it to him. Look at here. Hi. Hey. I'm going to hand it to him. All right, keep going, Charlie. All right, what else? What else you want me to say? Make sure you guys click. The best in India. Oh, look at my little sister with the jewelry. She's playing. Woo. Can somebody please supervise my little munchkin? <laughs> You're so beautiful. You little destroyer. Wow. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining our live next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we'll be live again. Your mic, sir. Yeah. What do you mean next, next Thursday? Thursday? Next Wednesday we will be live again. On Wednesday. So again, guys, sorry because Natalie and Dan keep interrupting me. Next, Mister, your microphone. Jesus, this is a beautiful chaos of CRM jewelers, guys. So if you guys love it, you guys hate it. It is always a shit show here with my family, but it is one of the best, amazing. It shows you can experience and you will have fun here with us. So, back to what I was saying. Next Wednesday, Rick D, the prize competition winner of that $120,000 white gold protect leaf, will be coming in. Dan will be taking him to that messy game. But before that, we're going to hop on live. You guys get to see his face as he walks in here. So, if you guys want to experience an amazing yacht day, an amazing dinner, um, who knows? If you guys have a special request, maybe you might. Fulfill that special request like we did with the Messi game for Rick. So whatever you guys want to do and have an experience here with our CRM family within reasonable things, um, make sure you guys go ahead and purchase a ticket because a lot of people say, oh, Charlie, can I pay you just to go on the yacht? No. The only way to go on the yacht and party with the CRM family is by winning this experience. So you get to win a watch. You get to win that experience. Wait, 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 wait. How much are they paying if they want to go on the yacht? <laughs> you gotta buy a ticket. You gotta buy a ticket. You guys gotta buy a ticket. You just gotta get lucky and win. So, so maybe we gotta do an only prize competition winner experience then. But besides that, we are going to have that panda giveaway, guys. Remember, the panda is one of the hardest watches to get. What? What? So, remember, the Daytona Panda is one of the hardest stainless steel pieces to get. People were telling me, Charlie gave away a Prezi. But I'm explaining to you why I need to give a Prezi away and why I chose this Panda. If I give away a Prezi, the Rolex ADs are coming people all the time for a Prezi. And you can get them at or under retail. I feel like the stainless steel Daytona Panda is a lot harder of a watch to get. It still has a high premium over retail, even with the market decline. Why not? It's one of the most iconic watches of all time. Now, if I do decide to give it a Prezi on the next competition, I'm going to make sure it's a very, very special Prezi that we're going to give away. So, depending on what you guys comment, how many tickets you guys purchase, what you guys let me know in the comments, on our Instagrams, on the phone calls, what you guys want to see for the next prize competition is what I might choose. Who knows? Maybe I might give you guys who cares? $100,000 store credit, you guys run around and you guys have a certain amount of time to go pick up Whatever watch you want. Maybe we give away a Prezi. Maybe we give away a Richard Mill. Let us know in the comments, guys. Thank you for joining our live, and I'll see everybody next Wednesday. I know on the link below, check out our stories. If you want to win a Daytona, make sure you buy yourself a ticket. Two pounds. Two pounds.
you can't buy nothing with two pounds. Well, you can buy a ticket. Which you can get you a $35,000 Daytona. And you could get in the Seattle Tourist Yacht. And you could go drink with us. And you could eat at the best restaurant in Miami. And you could spend a day here at the store with everybody. And you can meet Natalie. And you can meet the famous Whitey Natalie. So excited. And Carla won't be there in the Yeah, she won't be there. Mm -hmm. She won't be there. All right. That's a wrap. Till next time. Bye. Thank you, guys. Abby, you're going to do it already? Abby, you want to say something, Abby? Bye.